Uh, the first piece of advice, uh, and again, oftentimes I'm dealing with people that have had many failures, is that there is treatment and successful treatment for opiate addiction. You may have failed for a few reasons. One, you didn't have the right treatment. Two, your perspective of what it is to get treatment and your expectations were not realistic. And here's what I mean by that, and I tell them. If you kind of approach this from a chronic disease model, okay, uh, it really, what does that mean? Well, and a harm reduction model. Uh, but, uh, you know, the chronic disease model, it, it sort of uh, tells me that this is a relapsing, remitting issue, and you can have really bad relapses. And, and then the word relapse, what I mean here is the whole... Uh, weight of the disease coming down on you. What does it do to you physically, emotionally, and socially? The goal here is to get you to a place where you have almost no relapses and maybe none ever again. And when you do have a relapse, it's extremely minor and you can get right back on your feet. Let me live this, uh, explain this through an example. Let's say Joe comes in here and uh, he tells me he had six months clean from heroin. And he's saying he was doing really well. He had a job, he had a girlfriend. He was out there working, paying his bills, doing really well. And he was counting the days because he sort of comes, uh, maybe comes from that 12 step community where they really count the days and that means a lot. And, that, and then there was one particular evening where he got into an argument with his girlfriend or whatever that may have happened. Maybe his girlfriend left. And he gets into this argument or the girlfriend left or maybe he lost his job or somebody stole something from his apartment. And that night he goes out and although he usually uses heroin, maybe he goes and takes a few Percocets. Maybe he does a line of cocaine. Maybe he does go ahead and do, a, a, you know, sh shoots up some heroin. And what happens there, because he has a misunderstanding of what recovery is and what relapse is, he does that and there's so much guilt because in his idea, I used, now I have to start from point one, screw it. What does it matter? Who cares at this point? I destroyed my recovery. I had 180 days clean, now I use, now I have to go, now it's all gone. So this is sort of a negative feedback loop. And he's like, forget this. And he goes on this run and he loses everything. And then he does lose his apartment and he does lose his job and he does lose his girlfriend. Maybe he'll even lose his insurance or another scenario, which is almost just as bad. He goes ahead and uses one that night and then he has the same thought. And his understanding is, I quote unquote relapsed. Now I need to go into detox. Well, all of that is false because let me answer the second one first, because you didn't relapse. You had an episode of use from a chronic disease. And so, just because you had an episode of use doesn't mean you call the detox and go into detox and lose your apartment, lose your job, lose your girlfriend. You don't need a detox at that point. You do need rapid intervention. So you call whoever your caretaker is and say, look, I used last night. And they do whatever is needed at that moment for the degree of intensity needed to take care of the problem. And maybe that episode of use does turn into a relapse episode, which is much more intense and much more grave in its consequences to your health and your social circumstances. And at that point, maybe you need to go into detox. But the very idea that you had in your mind that I have relapsed and everything's thrown out the window and now I need to go to detox is destructive and itself can cause a true 
relapse. Or in the first case example that I used, the very idea that you think you used and all those days are thrown out the window and who cares now, screw it, I'm going to go on a two week run. That's extremely destructive and that itself is causing the uh, 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 downward spiral. Whereas if you looked at this as like, I had an episode of use, all those days that I had healthy builds on the long-term momentum, both psychologically and really at the architectural and pharmacological level on your body, you've built synapses and tools to deal with a stressful situation, which is the use. If you looked at it that way, you wouldn't have the guilt you wouldn't have the negative feedback cycle, and then you can actually potentially do the right thing and move forward in your continued recovery and evolution towards recovery.